Hi guys and welcome to a new video. This is a new fidget spinner I've just got. So it only came in a little plastic bag, cellophane bag, which isn't great because it was bust open already. So let's listen to the stock bearing. So it's quite a quiet bearing. Let's just uh, put it down there, put it up to the microphone. So one finger balance. So it's nice and flat balance, that one. It's barely moving at all. I don't know if you can see that. It's one of the most balanced spinners I've got. So it spins okay. So the stock runtime was 2 minutes and 29 seconds one side and 2 minutes and 28 seconds the other side. So let's go ahead and show you this. So I'm quite annoyed by the seller that sold me this one. As you can see there, the centre bearing is supposed to be a full ceramic bearing. So I'll show you in a minute why I think it's not. So I paid £3.69. So it's a Tri Spinner Fidgets toy. So Global Cross is the seller. I paid £3.69, like I said. So it's a random colour, 70 grams, ceramic centre bearing with plastic and metal. And it said full ceramic. And I question mark that because I wanted to check. So let's go ahead and show you the bearing first. Doing this out of sequence because I want to show you this first. Let's just take the caps off. So I don't know if you can see there, but that is not a ceramic bearing. They said it was, but I've checked it and I've got a magnet here. So the outer race is metal. As you can see, the inner race is metal. Because that, that magnet's just stuck to it. And then the ball is metal as well, because it's just stuck to those two balls. So it's not ceramic in any way. And then I looked closer and found that these are fake outer bearings as well. Yes, they might look like bearings, but they're not. That inner race is metal. The that is a piece of plastic and so is the outer so they don't actually rotate so they're not real bearings that center one does and it's quite a nice bearing but it's steel and i didn't pay for a steel one i'll just just to show you i've actually bought a full ceramic bearing and that's what a full ceramic bearing should look like with white balls white inner and white outer race the uh that thing there is plastic though but the rest of it's ceramic so that's what it should look like and that's what it showed in the picture that it was a full ceramic bearing but it wasn't so let's go ahead and show you the information of the bearing so i paid i bought that bearing for three pounds 65 because obviously it wasn't a ceramic bearing i wanted one in the spinner so i had to go and find one separately so that was the bearing so it cost me £3.65, full ceramic skate bearing, 608, 8mm by 22 by 7mm thick, ZR02 non-magnetic. And obviously that's how you can tell if your bearing is uh, ceramic or not, because it's magnetic. So Kingstore 6688 I bought the bearing from. So it's white colour, no weight information, and it was ZR02 ceramic. So the inner diameter is 8mm, outer diameter is 22mm, the thickness is 7mm, and the ZrO2 stands for zirconium dioxide. So it was bought from Shenzhen, China, and I paid £3.65 for it. So that really annoyed me that this seller has lied to me, basically, about what it what it is. So I, if I was you, I would not buy this spinner from the... Uh, from the use a global cross so just avoid him like the play because he just puts fake pictures on and sends you anything and hope you don't notice so the but even you know it's a cheap one because they haven't even made the outer bearings properly so yeah i was really annoyed by that one so let's go ahead and show you the weight put the caps back on and another thing that happened is when i took the caps off one of them broke its corner off because it was so tight I don't know if you can see that so even the caps are rubbish, they've broken because they're too tight, they're not designed to fit into that. So, yeah, like I said, I was really annoyed. So let's go ahead and show you the weight. 
So I would not buy from this seller, buy anything from him. If you notice that you're buying from this guy, just don't. Just don't waste your money because he's, he's a thief and he just likes to lie on his descriptions. So the weight is 53 grams or 1.9 ounces. So let's turn that off. So let's measure the size. So it's just the standard generic three three arm spinner. It's about 76 mil diameter or just over three inches. So let's have a look at the slop in the bearing of this steel bearing because it's not ceramic in any way shape or form. They hope you don't look I suppose. Just try and get away with scamming you. See if it'll focus. It's got to focus on my fingers at some point. Come on. Anyway, I'll just do it anyway. So there's not a lot of movement in that bearing. It is quite a nice bearing. I mean, it spanned one side 2 minutes and 29 and the other side 2 minutes and 28. But like I said, why did I pay £3.50 for one that really should have only cost £1.50? So I was overcharged really when I've already got loads of them. So is it difficult to spin with one hand? So it's just the standard 3 spinner. It's designed to be spun with one hand really. It's It's nice. It's a nice design, but uh, just disappointing. I think I overpaid for this one. Really, it shouldn't have been this expensive by any way. I just it's just scammer. This person selling these. So, uh, so that that's the good and bad points that it's not as described. So uh, let's go ahead and uncover the bearing again for you. Really annoying. All you've got to go by is the description and the pictures and when they lie you know you've got to call them on the lie and report them to eBay so it's quite clearly a full steel bearing with a plastic race with a, pl a plastic cage so let's go ahead and compare it to a normal skate bearing which is what it is so it is a normal skate bearing there we go as you can see it's the same size so it's just a standard I think these were the first ones that ever came out. So these were the ones that they used skateboard bearings before they decided they could put smaller ones in. And that's the ceramic, full ceramic bearing that I bought. Because I want to do some tests between a normal steel ball bearing race one. And a normal steel ball bearing and a hybrid ball bearing and a full ceramic one. So I hope that this one had a full ceramic bearing in but it didn't. So I had to buy one specifically for the job so maybe if that's what you want you'll have to do that so um that's my rant over with this guy anyway so i wasn't very impressed by what he sent me i knew straight away as soon as i opened it what it was without even checking with a magnet but if you're not sure just check with a magnet because some of the ceramic ones are black balls and you think they're steel and they're not they're ceramic so uh, let's go ahead and put that back in shot so I have ordered a lot of these different designs of fidget spinners to see what you can get for the smallest amount of money. So obviously I expected to get a full ceramic one with this one, but I didn't. So as they arrive in the post, I'll make a video of them. So let's go ahead and show you some of the other ones that I've done videos of. So this one's a flower spinner. They call it a five arm flower spinner and those ball bearings are molded into the, into the arms. Then we've got this one which is a gear or a cog and that's a solid piece of aluminium and then this one I really like which was uh, £1.89 and spanned for five and a half minutes so that's one of the best ones I've had so far it's only a basic one but for £1.89 five and a half minute spin time is really good and then this one cost me £5.14 which is a Captain America fidget spinner so that's that so that's it guys, so thanks for watching and check back soon. Cheers!